A new city is coming together in the Lower Lee Valley. What is happening is a bit like bringing an orchestra together. As the instruments warm up and tune, you begin to get a cacophony of sound. But when you bring them together, suddenly the music takes shape and form, and the collective sound of the orchestra is greater than the sum of its parts. It is now time to play some new music together, to join the many dots, people, businesses and place, and to build a new city. We're in the middle of a really exciting time for London, actually, because London is growing again. A key part of what we've still got to do is to create a, a sense of connection. Again, if you go up this wonderful river westward, you'll find bridge after bridge after bridge after bridge after bridge, really close together. In fact, in the centre of London, the bridges are only a few hundred metres apart. The place that central London can grow in, in our age is to the east. And the reason it can grow here is because it's where the land is, essentially. After the docks closed and all the industry that was around the docks went. So what was a nowhere place is becoming a somewhere place, defined by what's happening around the O2 at Greenwich, the airport expanding. Just a bit further north up the waterways, you've got £3.7 billion pounds of investment going on in, town, in Canning Town. Canary Wharf, the business centre, could double in size in the next 10 years. There's a billion pound programme going on here in Poplar with Poplar Harker and Bromley by Bow Centre. All about entrepreneurship, working with local residents. I mean, a story that's not been picked up by the Olympics at all. What an amazing, interesting story, actually. There's obviously the Olympic Park on which we're going to build five new villages and connect science and technology. And there's Westfield, the amazing shopping centre we've had 48 million visitors since it opened. If we're 25 years in, the Olympics then arrives halfway through. The Lower Lee Valley and the Olympic Park is now becoming known all over the world. If you look at what was happening in London during that time, and certainly in the Lower Lee Valley, which was an area of firsts and people doing things that had never been done before, um, and then finding out how to make that scalable and make industry out of it and make money out of it. These sorts of projects that were emerging out of here were absolutely incredible when you look at them now to think what people were doing with very little resources. And there's a mirror there to where we are in present day. And what we're keen to do is to take some of the principles here at Bromley by Bow, principles around social entrepreneurship, and actually enable that to happen over a much wider area. And that's why we're very excited about Water City, because we believe that Water City uh, is the future for East London. And I think people in this community have begun to see the opportunities that the Olympics brought in 2012. And really people want to say, well, what's next? And it feels to us that Water City is that what's next. Uh, that actually if some of those great ideas and some of the development that's happening could really impact on people's lives here in Bromley by Bow and the surrounding estates. If you join the dots, that is a new city. And if you connect science and technology in an integrated way into that, that's a very exciting opportunity for jobs and skills for the people of East London over the next 25 years. The energy for change comes out of local people. People believing that this was a place that could rise again, or this is a place that could be at the centre of something instead of the edge of something. This is a place that you could be proud of. It's a place that you could help shape, that it's a place whose beauty you could rediscover. The story is about recognising these development nodes and understanding that if you fly into City Airport and look down from an aeroplane, all you will see is water. And you will see the six and a half miles of waterways that connect the Royal Docks to all these development nodes and of course the valley now in the Olympic Park which is defined by water. Water has driven the economy of East London for nearly 2,000 years. Let's stop promoting this as a place of 
deprivation need and start promoting it as a place of opportunity, both to um, the private se sector investors who might want to bring their business here, but actually to ourselves. <laughs> you know, and to those of us who live here. Let's start telling a story about this place that says it's got a really bright future and we're going to grab hold of it together and form it.